Hello, I'm Landis, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. Okay, so we're back. A lot has changed since the last episode, and we're going to have a quick base tour and run through some of the stuff before we head off and do some exciting stabby stabby things. As you can see, we are now in my bedroom. I have a nice big bed because I'm the ruler. Everybody works for me. On the back wall, there's a few animals I've killed. For those of you that have played the game, you'll notice there's a, a couple of things there that are significantly further away from where I am because I've, I've been exploring quite far. Put the map up. Yeah, I've been all the way up here and all the way around here and all the way around here. And yeah, lots of goodness. But let's start with the tour. Oh yeah, I've been fishing as well. And, and taking in taxidermy. I forgot. Yeah, right. So, in here we have our shrine to Mitra. Nice and covered up. Uh, bare box I've just done there. These rooms I have plans to do stuff with, but to be honest, uh, I found a new place we're going to move to. And uh, we're going to start building the base up there. And I am kind of in between upgrading from tier 2, well, from tier 1 to tier 2. Tier, 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 English is hard from tier one to tier two um, but again probably not gonna bother finishing it I did like the little hidden access way up here but uh, yeah it's all kind of redundant because there's nobody on this server except me and here is just a little kitchen thing I've been experimenting with sticking stuff in seeing what does what with what and yeah because I refuse to go and get much information on this I've got little hints and bits and tips from watching Hawks play this on his Twitch channel. But other than that, this is well, trying to have pretty much just a guesswork. And it's, it's kind of working. Uh, here's our shop floor. We, we have an archer guarding. Uh, only level one. Not that great. And I've got some berries growing. Because berries is good. Because I can take my berries. And I can stick my berries in here. And then my berries dry and I can then take my dry berries and stick them in here and mix it with eggs and meat we can get around this area quite easily and then make this thing down here the savory feast which is yummy yummy but anyway I digress let's move on we've got a couple of smelters one doing stone one doing iron uh, we've got a blacksmith cook uh, wheel of pain which isn't really doing anything right now carpenter alchemists that's a warrior. Ooh. Yeah? Do you exist? You do exist. And then I need this thing to feed them. And then torturer's bench, tannery, armory, thing. I forget how much of this was here. This is an interesting person I found. It's got a backpack, and I can take this backpack, and I can wear this backpack, but I don't want this backpack. I want this head. And I have a dancer. And she's doing with it. That's not don't do that again I'm trying to record and that's not family friendly but yeah that's that's where we are now there's a bit more going on with the map I've got a few little outposts those of you that know the icons will see I've got a bedroll up here this is a nice place where I'm gathering lots of iron quite quickly and this is where we're going to move the base to probably in between this episode and the next episode we'll see how it goes oh other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh yeah, um, as you can see, I've dyed the the uniform uh, white and blue because yeah, I'm Landis. I like white and blue. I say white, it's light ash and blue because I found some flowers up by that new base I was talking about, and yeah, it makes blue. And I thought oh, that's cool. So now we have blue. Right, we need to get some stuff because. Oh, if we head here, we're level 31. We're doing all right. We're not too bad. We've got some repair stuff. Let's move on. We spent some attribute points. Slot on encumbrance. A bit on vitality, strength, and grit. Basically, as I needed it, we spent it. I got 10 points, so I could buy some more things, but I'm not entirely sure we need them just yet. As for feats, we spent everything, because there's a lot of shit to be building. Stats, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is this sucks because my entertainer's only level one. 
but we'll work on that. Now we're into journeys. As you can see, we've uh, done more of chapter six than we have of five. Uh, modify a weapon, scout a dog's desert camp. I think I did that by mistake going north. Modify a piece of armor, I forgot I did that. Squish something. Cripple. Make an enemy bleed. Yeah, we've done a lot there. Whereas in chapter five, the one we're in, we've upgraded a building piece and we've scouted a black hand camp. But we have to craft an exceptional flawless item. I don't know how to do that yet. Destroy the abyssal remnant, which is what we're going to do today. I'm pretty sure. Let's see it yet. In the depth of the dregs. And obtain the head of a boss creature, which I'm going to assume I can get from getting the abyssal remnant. Some of the creatures that you've encountered are larger and fiercer than others. Unique in a land of large and fierce creatures. Uh, kill one of the unusually large creatures that do the exiled lands and take his head. Maybe not. Maybe it's one of the bigger ones. We'll see. Elevator. Uh, eh. War paint. Ah, we can do that. Fire a trebuchet. Combine orb effects. Climb the Tower of Bats. So we're off to the dregs. Because I know where that is. Because I found that by mistake. Now I've seen... Hoxical do the dregs, so I know a little bit about it. There's some more paint. It's Black Hand. I got that from slapping somebody in the face with my big spear. Uh, that, that, that thing, I'm not being rude. Um, yeah. Now I need a bow, actually. My carpenter can make some funny bows. Ooh. See, it doesn't tell me how much damage they do. Star metal bow, we're not doing that anytime soon. Oh, I can't get thick leather. Exceptional hardened steel bow. Two insulated wood. Ah, we can do this, I think. I've got some resin. Yes, I do have some resin. It's handy. Got that, I think, when I went north and I started poking things. We need two of those. Oh no, I don't have thick leather. Damn it. Well, I could make an exceptional hunting bow. Plant fiber, branch, and twine. Ah, sod it. Let's just see what we've got and use that. Uh, Iron head arrows. Nine. Six. Six. Stone spears. Oh, it looks like we're going to take a stack of iron head arrows. How heavy are you? Woo! You're heavy. Right, now we need a bow. Hunting bow. And low grade is six. I was going to say, let's see if we can learn something, but we can't learn anything because we ain't got any points. But weapons. Archer. Yeah, we just the hunting bow, okay. Oh, we've got an exceptional hunting bow. Okay. Uh, what do I need to repair you? I can't repair you. Can I repair you in here? No, I don't have the expertise. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm not taking you then. I'm taking you. Can I repair you? need plant fiber okay yeah okay so we've got an arrow we've got a bow I've got my healies got all of my stuff let's put you there I'll put you there nice and then we need to do something with this quit yay I mean I don't know what it's done in fact, I think this is one that does nothing. But either way, we've got it. There's a hand on my back. Anything on my front? Oh, there's a hand on my front as well. Okay. Lovely. Now, off to the dregs. I think we're all kitted. We've got some repair kits and stuff. It's uh, getting dark. But we should be fine. Now, I've already located the dregs. It's down this way. Uh, after a, a massive Defari camp. 
so we're going to have to take out some nasties which is always fun but it shouldn't be too bad what I'm going to do is quickly hop along and get to the Defari camp and then you can join us and we'll start doing some slappy slappy and some looty looty as we head in to get the abyssal thingy and the dregs okay so we're getting close now and I realised I, I didn't point out one more thing um, actually there's probably a lot of things I didn't point out but one thing that's glaring now is if you look at the hotbar um, my weapons and my tools are purple because I have upgraded them those of you that are well into the game know what that is just by looking at it because they have the icon next to it but here all my armour which I forgot to repair is reduced in weight so it doesn't weigh anything which is nice all my tools have the improved um, gather rate and my weapons have durability I believe yeah so they last longer because I was out and about doing runs and the weapons weren't lasting long enough for the actual loot run which is kind of annoying this is back before I had the need or means to repair them where'd you go you asshole oh there you are I've also had to spend a lot of time practicing the combat systems it's quite easy to get messed up like bleed as you can see there is devastating to an enemy it's also devastating to me uh. oh yeah come at me bro missed Not a man. I am a woman. Strong, powerful, independent woman. How dare you call me a man. See, at this stage, now I've got some bleed on. We'll switch over to the thing which gives me a bit more range. Which I can also apply bleed if I hit this combo, I believe. Yeah. So there's, a, there's combos to do and stuff to learn and... All of this isn't explained quite so easily. I'll take that. As far as I can tell, the water orbs are for putting out fires. Like, maybe I can put out their fires? Yeah, I'm going to take... I'll take the rest as well. But I'm not sure. I'll, I'll work this out later. Oh, another thing. Um, I see this purge meter down here. I'm using my finger to point at the screen and I realise you can't see that, so we're going to use the mouse now. And it looks, I think, once I hit this line, we can have a purge. And again, thanks to Hox, I know what the purge is. And hopefully we can get that to happen at the base we're at now, before we move on. Because I've got a funny feeling I'm in a nasty place. And I'd rather have the purge here. Okay. Oh, perform it. So we're going to get a decent set of stacks and then we're going to run because he can put bleed on me because he's an asshole. I've actually got a uh, couple of performers sitting on my uh, wheel of pain I've got somewhere. But again, we'll go into that in more detail later because they take ages to cook. So I'm just backing up because of the archer. They're, yeah, they're a pain in the ass for that. If I can keep myself hidden behind this tree, dumbass will come closer. Hey, over here. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. Oi. Oh, a trick I learnt with archers. This doesn't always work. If you stay just far enough away, they'll switch between their weapons. Um, while they're switching, it makes it much easier for you to attack them. Come on. Yeah, I'm having that. Was it not me? Also, the click in there learnt me some stuff. Um, but I already had that before the last time I was here. I thought I'd just show that just in case any of you are playing and did not know this. Don't like that many archers. Oh, 
Asshole. Shut up and take your bleed damage. Go away. Ooh, you're excited, aren't you? Ooh, bastard. Teach you a lesson. You're level three. If I was on a on a thrall run, I'd probably be very happy to find you. Then again, do I really want any cannibals? Oh, it's another one here. Ooh. It's a line I've not heard before. Can you just die, please? Uh, ooh. Water? Yes. Nothing useful. Right, now, I've learned I can do that and stack two potions, which heals me much faster. Well, two potions. One food, one potion. Which is made from aloe, which is fantastic. Oh, crap. Ah, got confident. See, now she changes. So what we do is back off. Changes back. Back in. Changes out. Back off. Changes again. So like, as long as you've got just the one archer, which we don't, you can proper trip them out. One more. Right, now we back out, because one of those gits has got daggers. So my attack up. No, damn it. Uh, well, let me piss off. Oh, ring around the fires. All right, you're gonna die, so we're just gonna focus on you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nope. Ooh, I want the glass. Because I've been playing around with dying, as you can obviously see. Um, all of my clothes have died. Didn't really want to use up all my potions before I made it into the dungeon. We'll give you, we'll give you a nice little lesson in etiquette. Yeah, you see, as long as we finish that combo, we tend to apply a cripple as well, which makes running away much easier. Problem is, most people don't stand still long enough for you to finish that combo. It's a very long one. Let's have some more of this meat. What have you got for me? Greasy orb, water orb, some dyes. Yep, that'll do. I'm probably going to have to drop these orbs. Because they are heavy as... Fuck. Got water. Six damage. Well, Iron Head does much more. Okay. Oh, nearly missed that iron. Actually, we can use that, can't we? No, because we don't have any leather. So you can use that to repair. Oh, he's charging up, isn't he? Sound like Goku or one of the Dragon Ball Z fighters. They like, they like to make those noises. You just gonna sit there? I mean, you're losing your health. Let me uh, make it quick for you. Oh. But yeah, there's a lot of people here. Um, be interesting to see if I do actually run through and do the whole thing. I'll take you as well. I'll stick a few arrows in somebody because we've got a few spare. Got a proper loot box here as well. Woohoo! Insulated wood. Some corruption. Oh, it's different to Fiery Banner. I've, I think I've got one of them. Right. Where are you? There we go. Ooh. I think that was a headshot. Ooh. 
He took a sweet time to realise he was getting shot by arrows. Oh, he's an archer as well. <laughs> oh, crap. I just realised I don't have any stamina. We levelled up. Which is handy, because we're just outside the dungeon and we're over 50% of our carry capacity already. Although, admittedly, a lot of it is crap. Oh yeah, clicking here teaches some stuff as well, but again, already learnt all of this. You healed, you bitch. Oh god. I hate the cooks. Y'all can have my fucking ass. Wait. No, he can't. He can have your ass. Fuck, that's what I was hoping would not happen. Bloody cook. Okay, we got the cook. That's a start. Oh, no. <laughs> Stamina. There's not a lot of exploding. There goes one. Ooh. Damn. Calm down, dear. It's just a game. Lovely. Yeah, messy. Oh, coin. Coin. Coin's good. Hmm, arrow. Yes. And we need health. Starting to get the distinct feeling I've not brought enough stuff with me. Since we're burning through the majority of it in this front area. But oh well. Still don't know what to do with these bloody things. I eat them and I get ill, so nothing else to do with them for now. Oh, point of me saying this is because somebody's going to tell me. When I ask stupid questions like this, people answer them for me. The fantasticness. Pre-sorb. Pinhead? Nah, you're rubbish. You're just if I don't want to shoot people with bones. Oh. Oh no, I don't want to... Don't want to antagonize that large woman. Oh, we've antagonized that large woman. I think she's like a mini boss. She's a pain in the backside, I can tell you that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Stamina? Uh, no, thank you. Let's have a drink. I'm going to need to reapply that bleed, I'm afraid. And yeah, that'll do. Now, if you can just die. Thank you. I'm going to come back and try and actually capture her, but I assume because of the size of her. I mean, she's a big lady. We, we can't. Yeah. It'd be funny having a couple of those guard in the house, though. So. Ooh. I do not have one of these. The dry wood as well. But yeah, there's a nice set of stuff to collect here if you've got the ability to survive. While I'm here, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to take the one off the top. That's making me warmer. And as soon as that healing is gone, we're going to take the one top off of this. Because they have durability, but it's only the top one that has durability. That makes sense. See, now that's refreshed. It's two. I learned this when I was trying to do the um, what do you call it? If you stick food in the, <laughs> I've forgotten the word in the composting heap, they start rotting faster. And I realised if I split the food, so if I've got a stack of eight, that's then going to rot one, then rot the next, then rot the next, and rot the next, and then it takes like five minutes each one. So it's going to take forty minutes. But if I split them into eight stacks of one, it takes five minutes to do them all. So I have a lot of rotten flesh. Which may sound silly. Like, why, why would you have lots of rotten flesh? But A, 
I need it for the compost. But I've also noticed if I have 50 of them, I can squish them into Ica, which I need to make something else. Uh, uh, which makes my bricks stronger. Ooh, gold dust, nice. Let's see what this corruption shit is. Nobody had any leather on them. Oh well. Just a couple more people. Uh, let's try this repair kit thing. Need more leather, okay, so let's repair kit. Okay, it does work like that. Oh, right, so, wow. Okay. That didn't do much. Now I know from watching Hawks I need to kill somebody over something. That's in there, I think. So I think what we're going to do is kill one of these guys off. The archer. Like this. Stabby, 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 stabby. I know. Right. He won't. If he does, it's because I give it to him. We don't need any of that. Then we're going to take him in here. Because, yeah. See, we've got these statues, or these ghosties. And you see, they kill. Ah! I'm stuck inside. Where are you going, mate? So now I'm going to have to kill you here. And then that should let me in. Come on. You fell in. Hopefully the bleeding to death thing works. Also, no scratch up. I don't think it works. I forgot I decapitate him. Can I can I do it while he's dead? No. Damn it. Okay, what's in here? Nothing. Oh, that's annoying. Did I kill them all? You have to wait ages for them to come back. Oh wait, no I don't. Because I'm playing on single server. So apparently I need to kill them without doing the thing. If they bleed out, it doesn't work. I'm going to quickly reset this by exiting and coming back in. Hey, we're back. Now, just outside here should be a couple of assholes that wish to die. Oh, wait, they take a while to load in. I forgot this. Give it a second, they will populate. Shit, some of that fat bitch down there. Well, maybe not. I could have sworn this trick normally works. Don't know any other way to do it. Hmm. I don't want to go too far in case the whole bloody camp sort of respawns. But yeah, in the past this it's worked the exit reloading. Now why it wouldn't this time? Unless it's slowly loading from the front. Yeah, like the whole camp's still empty. But these have all reset. Kind of feels like cheating. Hmm. Let's get what we can. Before we run into the respawns. Oh, hell. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to run into them. Is it possibly because they know I'm going to need to kill someone? Oh, hello. Are 
yeah, this stage, we're right back at the camp. The beginning of the camp. And I, I've looted all of the boxes again. Um... <laughs> It's possible the respawns are because I was in the camp. Why well, they haven't respawned because I was in the camp. I don't know. Either way, I kind of need them to respawn and I don't want to have to go through that whole bloody camp again. If you enjoyed this episode, then tickle the like button, perhaps subscribe, and check out the rest of the channel. And why not join us on our Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and Patreon. Links are in the description and are on through the credits right now. I've been Landis. This has been Conan X House. Thank you very much, and see you soon.